Oh my gosh, it's saying no days left. It's saying no days left. How? How has it jumped to that? Peacheroonies and welcome back to a brand new video. So I have a little bit of a different intro today because I have Tia here on Quick Match and she is going to introduce you guys to today's video. So Tia, take it away. Hey guys, I'm Tia and welcome to Sims 4 Dreamhouse. Ah, thank you so much. You absolutely nailed it. Okay, thank oh, you. <laughs> thank you so, so much. Thank you. It should hopefully go out tonight. So look out for it and you'll be able to hear yourself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you so no worries, have a really good day and thank you for doing my intro. Thank you, happy birthday. Oh, thank bye. you so much, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> I'm going to try and do that with more videos so that you guys get to do um, an intro because I'm like, it's cool to chat with you guys, but I bet you guys would find it really cool to be in a video. So this is kind of my way of doing it. I hope you liked it and Tia, thank you so, so much. I know you're really nervous and a bit shaky. I get nervous and shaky when I when I talk on the phone as well, to be honest. But you heard Tia, we are back in the Sims 4 Dreamhouse today. I actually put a poll on Twitter asking you guys what you wanted me to play because I was gonna do Hunger Games but that takes a long time to set up and I haven't really like designed the next track yet. I actually have somebody else helping me potentially with the next part of the Hunger Games and I also asked you guys if you wanted me to do a Q&A and a lot of you guys wanted me to do that so I think I'm gonna do one of those this week maybe like a birthday Q&A and I also asked you guys what me to do in the city but you guys were super keen on doing Dream House and the reason for that is you are worried about these two little bamberinos here being left and put into the adoption system if Emily dies before they age up into teenagers. So that is exactly what today's episode- oh Evie, goodbye! That's exactly what today's episode is, so if you guys enjoy it, don't forget to give it that big cheeky thumbs up. And guys, let's play in some Sims 4 Dream House. Got it, I, I, that most uninspired dance ever. After watching BTS do all these crazy dances and I do this. Dance goddess right here. <gasps> what just happened? What just happened? What just happened? <gasps> Indigo's reached motor level 10. Oh my gosh, Indy, you absolute little hero. Right before you aged up as well. It's from all this grooving. She's doing the same dance as me. She is actually doing the exact same dance as me. So, oh wait, oh wait. Oh, oh, oh what? What are we doing? Oh my gosh, we're throwing shapes now, Indy. You are an amazing little dancer, maybe even better than Violet now. I know both of you guys want to be dancers. Violet, how are you looking, friendo? <gasps> Your motor's level 10 as well! Guys, they were born to be dancers. Mental level 2. Dancing level 10, okay. I actually can't wait for them to age up because it means they'll be able to take their ballet to like the next level. They'll be able to actually dance like and build up their dance skill. They'll be able to do like synchronized dancing together. It's gonna be absolutely Fantastic. So, it's very early on a Friday morning. Everybody seems pretty good though. Indy, less dancing, more eating please. In fact, Emily, do you want to cook them some proper breakfast? Because I just noticed that uh, Violet was eating crisps for breakfast, which I'm not really a huge fan of. Can you get on this Eggs Benedict hype? And I'm going to check in on your days left to live. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. One. One day left to live. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, that's just put me in such a sad mood. I was so hyped before. I thought I'd click on it and it'd be like eight. How has it got to one? How has it got to one? Oh man. I'm hoping that it saves Emma for the next episode of Broken Dream. Because I know you're like, oh twins, they should die on the same day. But really, that's not how life works, is it? I'm hoping it'll hold on to Emma until I get there. Oh guys, that's so sad. That's so sad. These were like my babies at one point. They were like my youngest sims. Mm. And now they're about to go. Ah, it's too sad. I don't want it. Why is this light not on? What's happening there? Wow, lad. You literally make no difference whatsoever. Well done. So, Emily is definitely getting towards the end of her life. Why don't you guys have like... Wait, is that not food? <laughs> Why would you enable the emotional aura on it? Why don't you guys all come and get some breakfast together? You're eating your eggs, Benedict. But Kidaroonies, can you get yours as well? No more dancing. Come and sit with your mum. Oh, I don't want to die! Why is everybody dying? I know why everyone's dying. I know that's just kind of the way life works. But still, Emily, you're going to get another portion because you don't need to watch a figure now. It's your last day on Earth. Like, I don't think we care too much about the figure right now. What we do care about is making nice memories with our kids. Sitting with them, chatting with them. Why don't you tell them how proud you are of them and that kind of stuff. Praise for good grades. <sighs> Brighten her day. 
teach her a valuable lesson. Let's talk about dreams. Their dreams of being a dancer. Oh. To know that. Oh, I don't want it to die, you guys. It's too sad. It's going to be the most bittersweet birthday on in the world, isn't it? But how quickly did you guys eat, by the way? And you're going to school. Don't you're off that. to school before you got all the praises that I wanted to give you. you. And she's what? in a picky eating phase as well. So she's like, ew, that was gross. <gasps> Both of them hated the eggs benedict. Although I will say, if it's Emily's cooking, it's probably less so that they're fussy eaters and more so that they're... They have a human taste palette. I don't feel like Emily is great at cooking. Let's face it, gang. Gang, gang, gang. Peachy gang, peachy gang, peachy gang, gang, gang. A little Christmas song's playing. It's like, it's close to Christmas as well, isn't it? Because their birthday would have been next week, so obviously I'm going to have to do their birthday today. And then tomorrow is decoration day. I think Emily will live to that. Because she's got one day left to live. Oh, guys, it's so it is so sad. You need to invite, like, go to the toilet and then let's get some fans around. You need family around you today. She's got a little wee-wees, guys. And then I think it's time for some sister. Let's get your sis round. See if Faith Dickens is off work. Maybe Caden could come too. Ah! So sad. Can teenagers live on their own? I don't know. Do I need to check that? Probably should put Sims 4 at the end when he's searching for that. <laughs> okay. So you can't do it in cast, but you can do it if it happens in real life. <gasps> and it's actually saying decoration day is today. What? How did that just happen? Decoration day is tomorrow. Today's Friday. Game, you're confused, my love. The good news for little Faithikins is that once Emily dies, a big chunk of this money will go to her, I imagine. She did already get a lot of money from them, but it'll be kind of split between her and the twins. So that's pretty cool. And Emily's cracking out the wine. Just having a real nice day with everyone, guys. She's pouring it out of a bottle of olive oil, which I don't really understand, but still. Just wants to have a nice day relaxing with her family. Oh, hugging her twin and stuff. Just chit-chatting away, getting to know everybody. Having a beautiful day together. Brightening days. She's asking, like, Faith about her future plans and stuff because... She's not going to be around Hearts for them. Like, like what is going on in your future? And Faith's like, we don't really know yet. We've talked about kids, but we're not 100% <laughs> sure. But obviously, Ryder's kid Blum will be Blum coming Blum into Blum this Blum world Blum through a mad body. So at least that's kind of the future. <gasps> Caden is her future. Caden is her future. And it's so cute. <laughs> but also really sad. I think, uh, look at Emily looking at Caden. I think Emily really likes Caden. Oh, she's making a toast, but not with a glass of wine. The wine is here. It's an invisible toast. Okay, everyone's quite happy about that though. I don't know why she just mimed doing a toast though. Oh, and I love that she seems to have quite a lot of time for like Caden. Cause you wanna like, like your daughter's spouse or like future spouse. So I think it's really nice that she's bonding with him well. Oh, and look, Faith went outside. <laughs> To look at the snow, but also to be... I think that's Taylor's grave. No, Salma's there. Taylor's there. She's still mourning her dad. And she also, this must be so emotional for Faith, because she's like, my mum is literally going to be buried there tomorrow. Like, that's what is going gonna, is gonna to happen. I'm going to have lost both parents. And if you guys remember as well, like... Faith was such a daddy's girl. Like, she was a super daddy's girl. So she must be really, really missing having her daddy bear around. I can't even imagine. And now she's just having some time catching up with her twin. If you guys remember, Emily and Emma didn't really see eye to eye when they were kids and teenagers. And they kind of drifted apart massively. But when Emma was struggling with Max stuff, which was still living in Max's house when he was crazy, um, Emily came over and the two of them sat and I think they were stargazing for ages and as they were sat stargazing they kind of like just rebonded together a bit and it was one of the things that helped Emma know she could come back home was like the support of her twin <laughs> so they've always been really different but they are Shushere. twins guys they have a twin bond and that's super important we're gonna bring up an embarrassing childhood moment for Emma Emma, do you remember that time you ran away um, and had a baby with the town mentalist? Do you remember that? Do you remember that? Yes, I do. Oh, Emily, what are you like? But Emma's like, yeah, I remember that, but it all worked out in the end. And I got a lily bear out of it, so. Who's really laughing? Oh my gosh, it's saying no days left. It's saying no days left. How? How has it jumped to that? Is that? Oh my gosh, start a group gathering. Group gathering. Assemble. Calorie Aiken clan. Assemble. Right now. And I need to get the girls home. I need to get the girls home. I need to get them home. I need to get them the age up or else they're gonna, something bad is gonna happen. Girls, get home right now. 
Okay, Emily, cancel that meal because you're gonna have to cook a birthday cake. They're gonna have to share a cake. They're twins, so I kind of feel like they're used to sharing things. And oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I actually can't believe this is happening. How is this happening? Oh, look, little Ruby Roo is here. Okay, the girls, the girls are home. The girls are all home. Everybody's that gathered meal. together. I'm gonna get a... How is this episode so rushed? How is this all just happening so quickly? What is even going on? Hey, handsome Roo. Oh my gosh, Macy, Macy was in a winter gear, then she looks so cool, but she's just changed. Okay, we've got the cake in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that out. We're gonna add, can I add birthday candles to it? Oh, I'm like, what? I'm like panicking so much right now. What have you just done with my cake? Put my cake back, you screwball. Oh, hey, Jamie. Oh my gosh, I can't light the cake up properly. <laughs> okay, add birthday candles. And then which twin is actually older? I'm gonna have to check on the wiki because you guys always know this stuff. <gasps> I don't know because they were born off camera. However, I'm noticing that Violet is first. So I kind of feel like she is the oldest twin because she's listed first. Okay. Oh, I really wanted to invite around like little Joseph so that I could see like how much love. I wanted to like build their love a little bit, but I can't risk losing the twins forever. So if, 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 oh wow, what is going on there? I can't risk losing the twins forever if they age up before, after Emily dies. So I'm just gonna have to roll forward and do it. So I'm gonna do Violet first because I kind of feel like she's the older twin. So she's blowing out her little candle ruse and she's aging up into a teenager. This is such a bittersweet birthday. Okay, oh wow. So it's aged her up, it's aged her up. She's kept her blonde hair, which I kind of assumed she would. It's sort of hard to see her appearance right now, but I can see a lot of Emily Rue. So I will give her the skin details that she needs. So I'm kind of thinking if we make them dancers, but I don't want her to become a bodybuilder. Um, what can I do? I think they would have got a lot of Emily-ness about them. So I think they would have been in like the popularity one. And I'm gonna make, I think Violet would want to be leader of the pack. So I'm gonna do that for her because she's like slight, you know, a second earlier. I don't think it could be a second when you're a twin. Unless it was a cesarean, which it often is with twins. Okay, I'm down with that. And then I need to make them love dancing. So they're both going to be dance machines. And then I'm going to give them a teen specific trait as well. I think I'm going to give them both a perpetual movement one. Uh, motion. They're both going to be like just super dancey. Like always like trying to like get the dance crew together. Do all that kind of crazy stuff. Jessica has sent Violet a gift. What? Guys, <laughs> can I just pause the game a second? Jessica, who's dead has sent Violet a gift. What has she possibly sent her that is not gonna be creepy? I don't even know. What is this? What is going on there? Is that someone's hair? Oh, it's Nathan's hair. That's actually hilarious. And that shocked expression, Indigo, is probably because you are going next, so. I'm gonna get you straight away to add some more birthday candles to it. I hate these guys being separate ages. You need to immediately blow out the candles as well, Indy, because you and your sister have to be the same age. Or else it's just sick and wrong, okay? Okay, so she's doing hers now too. <gasps> Who's just so celebrating for them? Ah, okay. Oh wow, she is aged up with green hair and or and purple eyebrows. Sort of unusual. I'm looking. Taylor has sent Indigo a gift. Guys, what is going on? How are we getting all these gifts from the dead? I literally don't even understand. I'm gonna give her the party animal one. Um, and they're also, she's gonna be dance machine and perpetual motion like a sister. I probably, their third trait I think will end up being different. Well, they'll, they'll actually get two traits to choose when they become adults. Because perpetual motion is a teen only trait. Uh, but I'm gonna just go ahead because they don't look right. I need to make them look right. Okay, so this is them before I put any of their skin details on. It's super weird seeing them like without skin details. I've taken her like accessories off so that you can actually see her face a little bit. And I kind of think that they've more or less stayed identical, even into teenhood. I mean, there's a few little differences I can see between them, but they are pretty much identical to me. I also don't know why they've now swapped in order. What is the deal with that? Okay, I'm gonna do Violet first. And I'm probably gonna try and copy a few of the mum's features because I just feel like that would be, that just seems sensible to me. That's kind of what you'd expect them to get, isn't it? Okay, and this, I know that their mum, I think, no, Emily doesn't have those skin details. I think these ones, these are Emily's skin details. I think they're also Faith's. You'd kind of expect them to have the same one, but we don't have to go down that route. They look old. Do you think they look quite old for the age? Yeah, because I'm looking at them as kids and they actually had 
a tiny amount of freckles. So they do already have slightly different skin to their mum. Maybe something like that. Oh, that, that's very pretty. I hate the clothes that it's given them so much. Honestly, it always picks out like the ugliest clothes. But they've definitely got their mum's bods, you guys. A million percent they have. We've never had a sim like get plastic surgery. Like a sim just decide I want a boob job or something like that, have we? It is definitely a route we could go down. Depends how you guys feel about it though. Okay, so she's starting to look a little bit more like the little violet we know and love. She's actually starting to look super pretty. It's Evie wagging her tail in her sleep. So cute. So I like to give them under eye bags. I just think it looks makes them look really realistic. You guys already knew that though. I'm also gonna give them this nose mask just because I think it kind of makes her nose look more real. I don't know, I just sort of feel like it does. It doesn't change the actual structure of her face. It's like, it's just a mask. Okay, and then I think it's gonna help if I put her hair on. She always had the hair like pulled back and then left long, didn't she? Kind of not a million miles from that actually. They're on color, but oh man. Okay, she's beautiful. She's beautiful. <laughs> the jury was never even out on this one though, though, was it? Oh, she's so pretty. I can see a little bit more Taylor in these two than I can in Faith. I think they look a little bit more like Taylor. Which is funny because Faith takes more after Taylor but doesn't look more like Taylor. The only sim in history that can pull off that hair is Lilith. No one else can do it. So I was looking to see if they had the exact same hair because I think it's then like an easier transition to getting to becoming a, a teenager. It looks more like this is the same sim. Because their change between teen and child is huge. And their change between teenager and adult isn't huge. So I thought it could be like a nice way to sort of keep a little bit of similarity but i'm kind of struggling to find any hair that is the in between you know because i don't really want to darken a hair although it's very common for your hair to darken and not stay blonde when you become a teenager that hair color is just not right for me i am kind of feeling this hair and emily had that hair so it's kind of like i don't know it's sort of nice that she gets it too the alternative would be this one just because i feel like that's kind of similar to what she had as a child but i sort of like this other one on her i think that just looks really nice and it is kind of like the, the exact same style as she had before, but just now she takes two pieces of a fringe down, which is kind of cool, right? I was tempted to give her a violet bow, but it's huge. It's just a little bit too big, I'm thinking. And this bow doesn't really go in the right place, so we're gonna have to lose a bow, which I'm really sad about, because I love the bow in her hair. But I kind of like these little hair accessories on her. I think Charlie Rose used to wear those too, but they look really cute. They've got like the further away ones, but they don't look right. I think it's about these ones. I think that looks pretty on her, like she's got like little hair clips in it. No, no, we could try it. We don't have to put it on for all outfits. And then because they've only just aged up into teenagers, I'm not gonna put any makeup on them. And maybe that's something we like add over time. I think that's the way I'm gonna do it instead. I'm gonna put face shine on though, cause I sure love me some face shine. Okay, and their style. Will they still dress matching? I think when they first become teenagers, they will. And then as they get a little bit older, they kind of like realize it's not really cool to keep doing that when you're teenagers. That's sort of the vibe I get from them anyway. Okay, so I've kept their necklaces. I've given them a dress that I can do one of each because this is just their day look and it's winter so they're not going to be wearing it loads. I sort of feel like they'd wear Ugg boots so I've given her some little pink Ugg boots. And then I'm going to go ahead and do indigo too so I can get them both to the same stage. But look at Violet's hair. Uh, indigo's hair. She kind of had hers- oh wow, not like that. <laughs> she had hers like tied in like a little pony at the back, didn't she? Oh wow, that's high. That's Emma hair. You can tell how different she looks from Emma when she's got that hair. Oh man, that's like the same hair as her sister. But instead of the bits down the side, she's got the little pigaroos. I kind of like that. I do kind of like that. They are so similar. Like, look. So number one, take it in. Let her look at you. And then number two, take it in. Let her look at you. They are almost the same. I think they are truly identical twins. They're our first set of like truly identical twins. You can already kind of tell as well. They're going to be like the most popular girls in school. Probably I'd be a bit scared of them. Oh, she looks really cute with that hair. I know I use that hair a lot, but she does look super cute with that hair. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna go for super twin look initially, like I said, and then it's something that they move away from a little bit in time and like find their own look. I think that's how we'll do it. So this is her equivalent of her sister's look. Her sister, I've given a, a, a nose overlay, haven't I? She's got that one. Depends how identical we want them to be. Cause I could give her a slightly different nose. I think I'll do that. Just so they got a little, little, little things that means that people that know them can tell the difference between oh. the two of them. Cause otherwise no one would be able to tell the difference. <laughs> okay, now on to their formal looks. 
was gonna put makeup on them for the formal looks, but I don't think I will. I think they're still a little bit too young for makeup. But I've whipped out the classic Emily dress. Emily used to wear this dress when she was a teenager. And I thought then it was a little, like, yeah, so maybe a little much. But I feel like these girls would whip it out too. Wow, when you give her Faith's hair, you can see how different she actually looks to Faith. That's cool though. Okay, so very similar, but again, just very slightly different for their, uh, oh, they are more different looking than I thought. Like, I can see it in their brows and stuff. They are a little bit more different looking. That's cool, though. They're still... I'd still class them as identical. Because any changes from, like, this point onwards would have been, like, environmental changes, I think. What's cool is I'll be able to get them, like, dancing and ice skating and everything soon. I'm not going to give them ice skating outfits, though, until, like, they're actually ice skating. But I've finally done all their outfits. Michi Machi. So, Violet, we've got daytime. We've got formal. We've got... Athletic. We've got sleepy wear. We've got party wear. I kept her in, in little shoes in case you know, she goes to a party and she wants to start shuffling because she's a dancer. She can do that. She's got her little swimwear. She's got her hot weather wear. And she's got her cold weather wear. Oh. And then little Indy Cindy has got, you're going to see a lot of similarities here, obviously. Her daytime wear, her formal wear, her athletic wear. Her sleepy wear, her party wear, her swim wear, her <laughs> hot weather wear, and her cold weather wear. So I think they've got like a really mitchy matchy look right now. Whether that remains into adulthood is to be determined. I think they'll start to get their own taste a little bit though. But let me know what you think of grown up Violet and of grown up little Indigo. I think they're both super cute. They are still like almost identical. I'd say they're like 96 or 95% identical, which is pretty amazing when you think about it. And here they are in a second. Come on, game. You're making me look real stupid here. Game. Game plus. Game why? 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 Why are you doing this to me? There we go. Oh my gosh, you see everybody just jumped. Everybody literally just jumped and then changed into their cold weather gear. Which means both the girls are in their cold weather gear. They also both look in real mud about something. Eh? What? Why have you just reverted? What are you- What's happening, kiddo? You're never allowed to wear that horrible outfit. There you go. Now you look- No! Stop it! Why did you keep- Where has this outfit come from? I never approved of this. You stop that right now. Okay, delete that. There. Hopefully she can never do that again. Do you secretly have this hiding away as well, kiddo? No, you don't. That was so weird. Oh my gosh. And they've both gone- They've both gone to ballet, you guys. Okay. So I'm gonna get them to both work. They're both sad about going to- Oh my gosh, because they don't like going to ballet now because they think it's lame. Are you joking? And they're also not gonna be able to eat any of their cake, but that doesn't mean everybody else can't. So now we are kind of like on count. Oh my god, look at the snow. Oh, I didn't do a weather forecast. Guys, let me refresh that for you. So we are now on day 13. 28 which is mid-winter today we're expecting heavy snow and freezing conditions throughout the day and the forecast is snow throughout the whole of the day for emily's death day and the twins birthday i've been claire siobhan with your very somber weather update and now we're just kind of on countdown to when little emma larini's time is up <gasps> what's happening here they always hug like that in my game like they're trying to like run in naruto or something and it is super super snowy <gasps> oh my gosh look at the snow on the roof how have I never seen that before? <gasps> this is some thick snow, you guys. The snow is thick. It's real thick. Oh my gosh. I actually love the location so much here, though. I know I do this a lot, but like, it's so pretty. Don't you think it's so pretty? Look at this person freezing their butt off. So pretty. Look at this little snowman. <gasps> who built a snowman? <gasps> James is catching up with James, the man who never ages and never dies. She's probably trying to get the tip for eternal life for him. I don't understand how he got it, so... Don't kick him out of the calorie aching clan. And everyone's just milling around having a little dance rooney for themselves. The thing is, if Emily dies here... Where's she gone? Oh, she's at the bar. She's kind of going to be, like, in front of all her family when she dies, which I was trying to do with... Uh, this is a lot of drinks, by the way. I was trying to do with um, Jesse and Taylor and Roxy, but people didn't make it in time. They only saw their dead bodies. That's so morbid. Whereas this time, I actually think people may see Emily die. I think that might be the case. Right now, though, she's just pouring as much wine as she possibly can. Because you may as well go out in style, you know? And the twins are desperate to be at home dancing. They're both thinking they're so bored. 
Oh my gosh, they are literally clones of each other. It's scary. <gasps> and I need to check which one's Violet. Oh my gosh, this one's Violet. <gasps> no, where is her romance with Joseph? Oh, I'm gonna have to age up Joseph, aren't I? I'll do that. Should I bring him around now? I might do it in the next episode because I don't want to miss out on this Emily. Emily death pipe, you know? And there is a lot of wine being poured here. But she's very happy. She had a great birthday party. She's loving it, the comrade of being at a group gathering. And she's like old time. She's enjoying being around her family. She is on zero days though, guys. It's gonna happen soon. What's Emma on? Emma, what are you on, friendo? We already done this. <gasps> Emma has four days left. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Emma is slightly younger, I guess, than Emily. I felt like it was the other way around. Maybe Emma somehow, like, had a life that allowed her to have live into old age a little bit more. It's good because I don't want her to die in today's episode, but it is unusual, isn't it? Maybe like the modeling, the dieting, the crash dieting and stuff for Emily's like job and career has meant that her life will be a little bit shorter. And these guys are getting into dancing as teenagers. It's going to be a little bit different to the way you danced as a child. So I hope you're ready. And I do need you to both build up this dance skill so you can become absolute pro dancers, okay? I think if they were motor level 10, it should have given them like a little bit of dancing, don't you think? I think that's really unfair. This is so morbid. Everyone's just having like a drink, a sit down, a chat, waiting. Just waiting for Emily to die. This is really weird. I'm gonna get her to like, just get as much like niceness and engagement and can I do a little bit of parenting and stuff with them too? Discuss better eating habits and stuff. I just want her to do as much parenting as she can before she can't do it anymore. They both need good eating habits because Emily's bad eating habits on extreme dieting is the reason she's died before her sister. So I feel like she definitely want to pass that on. And how sad and like creepy is this music as well? Sims always does this to me. It's like, oh, what's that? Someone's dying? Here's a playlist I prepared especially for this moment. And there's still so much wine. Why is everyone just stood around awkwardly? Asha, what are you doing? I know you already look like a beautiful, ridiculous statue of a human, but you're taking it quite far now. Oh, guys, look at little Willow cleaning up. How cute is that? And our group gatherings are so big now, because I know we've lost some members, but we've added some members along the way too. I don't know why Caden's not in it. We need to invite Caden to it. Oh my gosh, it's all of them. It's all of them sat there together. You can see how similar they all look. They all definitely look like sisters, don't they? But I guess little Vaithikin's got the red hair. I think she's my only red-headed sim. But you can so tell that they're all sisters. But I definitely think Faith looks a lot more like Emily than the girls do. They've got a lot more tailor in them. <gasps> no! No! No, no, no! She was just about to hug. She was just about to hug Faith. That was literally what she got up to do. Elderly, elderly demise. Oh, guys. At least she died of old age, like, surrounded by her family. Oh, my gosh. And everybody's just realised what's happened. Oh. Oh, James has just realised, little James. Oh, no. James has been through so much. He's, like, having to watch his little sisters die. Like, what even is that? What actually even is that? I don't even think the Grim Reaper is going to be able to reap her because she's so surrounded by people crying for her. Hey, Hunter, please show a bit more emotion. There you go. What are the girls doing? Girls, why are you just sat there smiling? Girls, what's happening? Girls, come on. Be a little bit more sad, please. They're like, oh, yeah, 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 she died. We discussed this. We knew this was happening. This isn't really a big deal. I think they're, like, stuck in the animation of they were the last ones to talk to her. So they're acting like they're still in conversation with her. <gasps> And, oh my gosh, Roxy has come. Roxy has come to, to bring her into the, the land of the dead together. Oh, Roxy. Oh, and he's here. The Grim Reaper's here. He's trying to get through. And now Roxy is sad as well. Oh my gosh. The Grim Reaper has his work cut out trying to get close enough to her. I thought maybe Taylor would come. I thought maybe we'd see Taylor come out and come and get her. I don't know why Roxy is the one sent to uh, to help her into the final final part of death, but it is Roxy Room. So there you go. Oh, Abel, my poor baby. Look at my poor baby, Abel. Guys, look at him. My poor baby. My poor little baby. Oh my gosh, everyone, it's too sad. And like, I think Faith is literally just in shock. Her head is just swinging in between the two. She's like, what? What? She's still trying to talk to her mum. Faith, she's gone. You can't talk to her anymore. 
Stop looking down at her like she's gonna look back at you. Like, she's dead. She's literally dead. She died of twirly whirlies. <gasps> Salmo is here too. Oh my gosh, Salmo is here as well. Oh my gosh, I want Taylor to come so much. Please bring Taylor, please bring Taylor. <gasps> oh my gosh, and she's gone guys. She has been reaped. I mean, she's still there, which is kind of unusual. But the Grim Reaper did just do his thing. And I think it, the girls have finally realized what's happened. Morning. Oh my gosh, and Faith has just realized what's happened too. Oh, look at little Faith. They've lost their mum and dad in the space of what? Two weeks? Less? And poor James has now watched two of his sisters die. He only has one left. Oh guys, and I need to go and put her outside. I need to go put her outside next to Taylor Rooney. This is Taylor, isn't it? Guys, there she is. She is now buried next to Taylor. Oh guys! So that is it. They had their birthday on the same day that their mother died. Like that sucks because every time they have their birthday now, they're gonna remember Emily instead of like celebrating their birthday. And I think it's definitely hit them now. They are looking majorly depressed now. And Taylor did never come out to say goodbye, but I guess like they're together now. Maybe he was waiting for her on the other side. And the couple are now back together again. But just not in our world, you guys. So I'm sorry this episode was so sad. <laughs> But the twins are now aged up into teenagers. You're gonna have to let me know what you think of their appearance and whether you like my idea of kind of making them very similar now, but changing them a little bit over time. And let me know what you think about us losing poor little Emma Lorino too. Oh my gosh. I'm so scared me. Oh my gosh. Ali was just stood outside my window and he, I actually have nearly just died of fright. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in another one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.